No more Oprah chat. Megan scared to death as Palace finally got her darkest secret to silence her. Meghan Markle's fans have accused the royal family of lying about claims that Prince Harry's wife bullied members of staff at the palace. The Duchess of Sussex's fans took to social media amid reports that the results of a Buckingham Palace probe into allegations made against Meghan will never be published. The mother of two denies the allegations and her fans have now accused the firm of lying about the accusations, with one Twitter user, at Doimwe, wrote, they tried to silence and intimidate Meghan by launching a fake investigation. It didn't work so they're trying to hide the BS. One mistake hashtag royal family lied did was to underestimate Meghan and just like that they will hear from her lawyer, like it or not they have to clear her name. Royal family never even conducted an investigation. Their statement on March 3, 2021 was only to scare Meghan Markle into cancelling the Oprah interview, another at mad underscore hoorie, responded. After they failed to silence Meghan, they had to continue to pretend that an investigation was happening. The third one, at Julia44993, tweeted, So Buckingham Palace leaked the existence of a bullying investigation, four days before the Oprah interview, but not the results. The findings of the highly sensitive probe, which was reportedly conducted by an independent law firm, has not been made public yet. It comes after Prince Harry is almost irrelevant to the future envisaged by Prince William, according to royal commentator Richard Eden. Commenting on claims Prince William has moved on from the row with the Duke of Sussex, the Daily Mail diary editor said he believes this doesn't mean there has been some healing to their relationship, reportedly damaged by Megxit. Appearing on the Mail Plus's Palace Confidential program, Mr. Eden said, essentially, Harry is almost someone from his past. It sounds brutal and it is sad but Harry is not part of the future that William envisages and he is almost irrelevant to that. And we saw that in a pretty stark way at the Jubilee celebrations I think. Britons on the street have told a source that. Prince Harry was well liked by the British public, who respected his military track record as part of his royal appeal. Civil servant George, 29, from Dagenham, told Express.co.uk that his military affiliations played well with the British public, and was part of how much the prince was liked. George, speaking in Whitechapel, said it looked as if Harry had thrown his life away. He said, he was really liked by people. He had the army stuff, and he was really out there with people. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's biographers have previously claimed that watching Prince Harry be stripped of his military titles was one of the most painful moments for Meghan. The couple, who retain the use of their Sussex title, also lost access to the HRH titles. But losing his military titles was particularly demoralizing for Prince Harry, it has been claimed. Finding Freedom authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand described how Harry could still wear a number of medals awarded to him for his active service. Prince Harry left military duty in 2015. They wrote, if his grandmother's validation of his experiences served as encouragement, the most demoralizing aspect of the New Deal was his being stripped of his honorary military appointments that had been awarded to him as a senior royal. As a retired serviceman, Harry would always be able to wear his medals, but no longer could he wear uniform as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Bass Honington, and Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Navy's small ships and diving operations. These roles had come to an end. A source then told the biographers that Meghan had found it incredibly difficult to watch Harry lose these all-important military appointments. The source claimed, that's been a tough pill to swallow, and the one that has been most painful to Meghan to witness him go through. It's the one that made Harry emotional, 